Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you are doing fantastic. Today we are going to talk about am amazing fragrances for a steel. So these I chose here are really, really good and they are not expensive at all. Maybe one is slightly on the pricier side, but if you look good in the internet, you can find it in a really, really good prices. So yeah, if you want to know what are the fragrances of my choice, please stay with me. My name is Justina. This is my perfume world. If you like it here, please leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing if you are visiting me more often and let's go. So all right, without any further ado, we'll start with a hit, I think. Uh, it's getting quite viral or it is already viral uh, and it is a dupe for ever so famous YSL baby cat and here I have Rifakat from Paris Corner. Actually, I, I, I really love the bottle. The bottle, the bottle is just stunning. The quality of the glass and everything in here is absolutely top notch. It could be standing in a niche perfumery and no one would say a word because it's really, really good. And the box itself is very minimalistic as well. It's so beautiful. But apart from the box, the juice inside is just amazing. For me, it is a churchy vanilla, basically. That's it. And if you know Baby Cat, you know how it smells already. This one is vanilla, which has incense. It, it is resinous as well. Sweet, smoky, very compelling, very, you know, mysterious at the same time. For me, as I always say, it's vanilla in church. <laughs> and that's what I'm sticking to. And exactly same effect has a baby cat on me. And actually, when I was posting on Instagram regarding this perfume, many people told me that they already have it and they really love it and they think the really is say it's it is just the same as baby cat one guy even sold his bottle of original baby cat and after he bought this one because it's that similar and also many people wrote to me that they bought it because i was recommending it because i was recommending it, recommending it already on my polish channel and they love it really much so yeah i think this one is great bang for your buck it's maybe not um, one of the cheapest one but you can find really good deal on it uh, especially when you are you will be looking for it so i highly recommend you checking out uh, because rifa cut from paris corner is really really good very good dupe uh, compelling amazing so yeah rifa cut another one is very cheap i would say and it's from zara i have here 30 ml and actually I bought it recently because uh, many people said that it's similar to This Is Her from Zadig and Voltaire and this one is Fields at Nightfall. And I must tell you guys that I'm really pleasant, pleasantly surprised because usually I didn't like the Zara series with those, you know, boxy bottles. I do not like this series because usually for me those scents smell like slightly cheap. I don't know, there's something off in them. But here, when it comes to Fields at Nightfall, this one is really, really good. And if you like, this is her from Zadik and Voltaire. For me, it's like 98% dupe. So if you do not want to spend money on Zadik and Voltaire, because I saw, at least here in Poland, uh, it's getting pricier and pricier to get Zadik and Voltaire, this is her. So if you are looking for a really good dupe, Fields at Nightfall from Zara will be it. I think this one is just amazing. It's a creamy sandalwood. It's slightly also, it has this zinc to it as well. The sandalwood is uh, slightly sharp as well, but creamy at the same time. It doesn't have this pickle juice effect, which I absolutely uh, appreciate and I like. So good and it's creamy as well. It has like this buttery, caramelly almost quality to it. And it lasts really long time, especially on the clothes. I must tell you that I'm sometimes spraying it um, after my sh um, evening shower. And when I have it on my bathrobe um, after the shower, it smells for days. This one is absolutely amazing. So it's worth checking out. And I slightly regret getting 30 ml bottle. However, uh, you know, given that I have so many of the fragrances, I don't know if I will use it up, but it's worth considering basically to get bigger bottle, especially if you like, you know, this scent profile of Zadig and Voltaire, this is her, and who knows when they will, you know, just discontinue the fragrance. So it's better to buy more 
and enjoy. So feels at nightfall from Zara. Another one is uh, my new discovery and this one actually was released last year 2023 and it went quite viral as well. It's Bade Al Oud from La Tafa, Bade Al Oud Honor and Glory. Look at the bottle just stunning you know i like really like those bottles i was also considering getting um honor and not honor and glory oh uh, i don't remember this one that one i was considering is black and is probably a dupe for oud for greatness so yeah never mind the name but the bottle looked really uh, similar so this one this one you can find it really decent prices as well. I bought mine in a really, really decent price on Polish portal. So yeah, um, this one smells like pineapple, but it also has this, you know, mossy quality to it. It has spices as well. It has creme brulee, but it's not as gourmand as you might expect. You know, this pineapple here smells like ripe pineapple and fresh pineapple, not the canned type, nothing of the sort. So here you have this juicy, sweet, fresh pineapple, slightly, you know, rounded by the sweetness of creme brulee and vanilla. And also you have those spices. You have curcuma here. So yeah, you need to watch out if you do not like, uh, you know, this note in perfumes. You may want to, you know, you need to test before you buy, basically. But it's mossy as well. This one is very interesting. And some people say that um, it's happening too much in this scent. But for me, actually, it's very interesting and it's multidimensional. So if you are looking for a challenging scent in a really decent price, I think Honor and Glory from La Tafa is very much worth checking out. Uh, in my opinion, I would love to have more of this pineapple creme brulee combo. And those spices only, you know, very, very much in the background. But all in all, I must say that I really enjoy this fragrance. And I cannot sn stop sniffing it, you know. When I'm going to my perfume shelf, I usually grab this bottle and sniff it. Because it's it has this addictive quality, you know. But this one, as I said, many people says it's not for them. It's too polarizing, too, you know, too, too much. So you need to check it out. But all in all, if you like it, you will find it very... Uh, very addictive. So yeah, La Tafa, Honor and Glory and the bottles. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, that was it. Another one is really dirt cheap, but this one is so good. I was very surprised. And actually, uh, one time I was doing blind tests with my perfume colleague. I sent, sent her a decant of this perfume, which is very, very cheap, as I said before. And she told me that after, you know, I revealed what kind of a scent was that. She told me that she thought it's something like niche and quite expensive. And what I'm, am, I, am I talking about? You know, it's the Zori d'Oriente Byzantium. I actually really like this bottle as well. It's like mosaic here. So it's really nice addition and this one actually smells like an almond powder it has almond as far as i remember it has heliotrope uh, it has mimosa i believe vanilla so this one if you like your almondy vanillic fragrances this one is really really good and i also uh, recommend this um washing liquid from the same series i really like it byzantium as well it smells so strong same as wild mask I really cannot recommend it enough. And when it comes to Byzantium, it's a really soothing fragrance. It's like Gourmand, but it's very cheap, and but it's not watered down. You know, if you have Gourmand, which is really cheap, usually it's it's not a good combo, to let's be honest. But this one, this one has this unique powdery, delicious almondy quality to it, you know? And it's quite dense and it's quite also creamy. Very good. Actually, I wasn't wearing it that much recently because I'm very much into niche now. But this one, as for the price, is just absolutely amazing. Uh, I also like Egyptus from Tesori d'Oriente as well. I have it uh, as well on my perfume shelf. So I need to definitely revisit those fragrances. Another fragrance, which is also very, very cheap, is Katy Perry's Indie. And I think, especially if you like your sandalwoody, creamy uh, fragrances, 
you may want to check it out as well. It was very, very cheap when I bought it. It has lots of kind of masks, you know, in, in it. It has plum as well. It has sandalwood, but I need to warn you that for some people, the sandalwood here smells like a pickle juice. And what's uh, the funny thing, I hate this pickle juice, you know, that comes sometimes from uh, fragrances that are based on sandalwood. But here, I, do, I cannot sense it at all. Here, this sandalwood for me is just beautifully creamy. And for me, it's always a mystery how our noses work, because in some fragrances, as for example, Indeed, in Santo 33, I can smell prominently pickle juice. Here, I do not smell any pickle juice. And I have here another fragrance, which I will be recommending. And this one also has sandalwood. And then many people say that again, they, they feel pickle juice in it. I cannot feel pickle juice at all in that fragrance as well. This one is just beautifully creamy. And by the way, uh, there is one fragrance from... I don't know, I know the fragrance uh, is called Parisian Musk and it's very popular and I was, you know, putting many hopes in it, but it smells like pickle juice as well for me and it doesn't have sandalwood, so it's very, very mysterious thing. But this one, clean, sophisticated as well and quite original, I must say. So yeah, Katy Perry's Indie. Mm, that was it. Another one, which is a clean scent, which is a celebrity scent, another one, but I think is still very good. And this one is one of the first celebrity scents I have ever known. This one is the first, basically. Glow by JLo. I think this one is just beautiful. It will, won't be for everyone, so you need to, of course, test again. But it is original, as for the price, I think it's one of the best clean scents out there. Many people say that, say that it smells for them like Nivea cream or Dove balm. For me, no. For me, it has this unique quality. Of course, you can feel and see the association with that, with that fragrances like Nivea cream and Dove, but this one stands on its own. This one is clean, slightly sharp as well. It has rose, it has grapefruit, it has musk. Very good. Clean person scent, just like that. So yeah, Glow by JLo. And the prices are really good right now. So yeah, I think it's worth checking out as well. It's very, very cheap. Another one, uh, another one is uh, this sandalwood fragrance I was talking about that some people feel like pickle juice in it. And it's, of course, Stash by Sarah Jessica Parker. I absolutely love this bottle. And this one is, I think, one of the best, if not the best, celebrity scent out there. And you just need to get it because it's discontinued already. But I still see it here and there popping out. So I don't know. But they said it's discontinued because of the Masoya wood that it's in it and it's, you know, bound to, you know, make in some people allergies. I don't know, it's very, very stupid because you are using it for your own responsibility. I'm always slightly pissed because of that, the stupid regulations, but what can you do? However, if you can find it, because I've heard that you can find it very cheap, just get it. I regret not getting body oil because I absolutely love the scent. It's just warm wood for me warm wood, sandalwoody, creamy scent. It smells like an old liquor cabinet, just like that. Creamy as well. Very good. And it has some slight like men's cologne touch. This one is very, very unisex. I absolutely love stash. So if you have the chance, just don't think about it. Just get it because it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. Another one is a dupe but I think it's a really good dupe and really original as well as a scent profile. Um, it's from Dossier and it's Powdery Hawthorne. And this one is basically a dupe for Tom Ford's Metalique. For me, prices of Tom Ford's perfumes are just ridiculous. Don't ask me, I won't be buying any original Tom Ford because especially last release, I didn't smell it, but I've heard the, um, you know, the reviews is Vanilla Sex. And so many people said that it's nothing special and they are, you know, just charging as for gold for it. So I think it's just ridiculous. But so I will be just fine with my dupes. And Powdery Hawthorne is a dupe for Metallic, as I said. And this one is so unique, you know. You have aldehydes in here. What do we have in here? Aldehydes, Neroli, Orange Blossom, Hawthorne Heliotrope, Vanilla Ambrette and Peru Balm. So good. It's like vanilla... 
it's airy it's like you know contradictive scent you know it smells like fresh laundry you know laundry um washed in like vanilla detergent which is cold and it is thanks to the aldehydes aldehydes give this beautiful air to the fragrance so if you have the chance to buy dossier powdery hawthorne just do so because for the price i think it's amazing i think it's just amazing i do not know how the original metallic smells but if it smells like that fully justified this one is just just amazing I think 10 out of, out of 10 so powdery Hawthorne from Dossier and last two fragrances um, the first one from the two will be Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue I think this one is underrated I think no one is talking about it maybe because of the association that our moms or aunts wearing was we were wearing this fragrance a long time ago but I think you need to check it out especially if you like uh, delicate perfume but very sophisticated if you like for example Gabrielle Chanel I would recommend to check in this one out because this one is dirt cheap as well especially when there is a promo on it I think it's very very cheap but so elegant so carefree you know so put together and it's suitable for every occasion really so if you want to smell like a classy lady on a budget, but still, you you know, when you smell it on someone, it smells really expensive, you know. So I really, really like it. My mother-in-law actually had a bottle of it and I really loved it on her. And I have my 30ml now and I'm so happy to have it because it's so, so good and no one is talking about it. And, you know, it's cheap, but for me, it's so, so good. So yeah, Fifth Avenue from Elizabeth Arden. And the last fragrance, this one is slightly pricier, as I said before, but I think um, when you will look good, you will, you will, you know, you will search for an offer in the internet. Uh, you will find it uh, in a really good price. And it's from Guerlain and it's Black Perfecto. La, La Petite Robe Noir Black Perfecto. That's what it is. That's the name. I cannot speak English today. Sorry, guys. I don't know what is happening, but I'm really having troubles to <laughs> make a video in English today. Uh, Black Perfecto. And actually, there is a funny story with this fragrance because I thought I lost it during our, you know, moving houses. I couldn't find it anywhere, but uh, it turned out it was stacked somewhere in my, underneath my, you know, samples. So, yeah. I luckily found it. This one is so nice. And if you do not like the classic, uh, class, classic <laughs> La Petite Robe Noir, uh, you do not have to be afraid because I do not like the classic version. But this one is really, really good for me. It has rose, it has black tea, and it has leather and cherry. And this one for me is so nice. So, so nice. Slightly dark. Mm, rosy. You can you can also smell this black tea infused with rose. So this one is so good. Oh, oh my God, I have sprayed it here and it just bloomed before my nose. So mm, this one is so, so good. Delicious, but at the same time, like this Victorian, you know, mm, aura around you. And look at the bottle, it's just amazing. Like Black Academia vibes, very, very nice. So yeah, Black Perfecto I have here like 30 ml and it was really, really cheap. As for what it is, as for the fact that it is a Guerlain, the price is really, really good and the bottle is just stunning. All right, so that was it for today. Let me know if you own any of those fragrances, if you are interested in any of these fragrances as well. Thank you very much for watching today and see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.